Hello, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, where we are here at a shrine we've already done, because we need to get a picture of a small guardian. And this is the type of place to get just such a photo. So, we're here. And yeah, I chose a major test of strength, because I figure the lady who wants the photos of guardians... Might not settle for ones that aren't intact. And the ones in the other tests of strength do not have all their arms. So hopefully, this will be exactly what she wants. And it looks like she does want it. Uh, let's use this new photo. And let's give this thing a piece of our mind. Yeah, I don't know why I was dodging there. It wasn't even facing me. Try something. You messed up. Ow. Okay, that launches me a bit more than I thought it would, but... We're fine. Okay, that was my mistake. Ow. You messed up again, buddy. Okay, I can't do charged attacks with this two-hander without having bad things happen, it seems. Jumped too early. Need to remember the timing for those sweeps. Oh, we're doing this, are we? getting one hit out of that is not exactly the greatest. We don't have many two-handers. Well, let's just use this. That worked. Now to see how these compare to everything. Okay, of course none of them are better than this, but that was basically never going to be the case. That Guardian Sword's better than this sword, though. So, let's make way for it. <laughs> Goodbye! Now for this Battle Axe. Is it better than this? It is. Is that my worst one-hander that I've still got that isn't an elemental one? It looks that way, other than this, but that's a guardian sword. It does have its value. And the guardian spear will stay on the floor. And then we leave, because we've already got the orb and the chest. Yeah, I don't see no orange glow over there. Yeah, that is an open chest. So now we need a flying guardian and a walking guardian. Thankfully, both of those can be found right out front of Hyrule Castle, and we've got a shrine right near there. Oh, we should go to that other shrine, because we got a rusty shield.
I mean, it's a bit late now. We'd have to wait through another load screen. But it is doable. Plus, that island does have both walking and flying guardians around it. Then again, there's a flying guardian right here. And there's a walking guardian right there. Let's keep the old photo for that one. Oh. Uh. Wait. I want to delete multiple things. There. Uh, that'll do for now. Let's keep the old one. It's got more atmosphere. So that gets us all the photos we need. And actually, let's go ahead and follow the path here, even if it does take us past some guardians. Okay, that must have been Daruk's doing. Or maybe the thing hit its leg instead of its face. Okay, that was definitely Daruk's doing because the freaking Choo Choo did not help me. And now we're out of Daruk, so any further parries are definitely my doing. There we go. Apparently there was another Choo Choo here. This place is not doing so hot. So, if a Guardian Skywatcher spots me, does that end up just being the same deal as a regular Guardian, only slightly different timing for the lasers because they're coming from a different distance? Don't know. Seems we've got another stalker to go through. Oh, we've killed this one before. Okay, that made the sound as if I got the parry, but... And so did that. It keeps making the you got a parry sound, but I'm taking damage. Why is that? Okay, that time I just failed. Uh, what's our worst shield that we're going to use? It's this one. I need to get more Lionel shields sometime soon. Was the laser, like, hitting the grass around me or something? Oops. Okay, I really need to get more Lionel shields. There we go. Hooray for loot. Now let's go place this shield. Ah, oh, there they are. Ran right past them. Okay, so... Drop. And then magnets. Okay. 
So now I can get rid of these two stamps. And then we gotta get our way back down to that beach. So I guess this is the best spot. Okay, now let's get on our climbing gear, just because, if we end up needing to climb anything, it is faster. And actually, let's just climb things because we can. Looks like there's a Korok to get right there. So let's actually get that. I can think of no reason why I shouldn't. Here are our rocks. So... Go! Not quite. Link, don't climb it. Push it. I know you love climbing things, but sometimes it's best to just resist. And it seems these do not want to just go straight down into the thing. Oh, that was close. Ish. But from here, they can be pushed pretty easily, I would think. Well, easily into the hole. They're still annoying to push because they do not always like to go in the direction you want them to. Okay. Okay. I see how this is. I'm using the wrong button. That's okay. Let's get this. And let's get one of these back on. Let's do that one. And then... See how this does for us. That's better. And now, it is an easy push to get in. Just gotta... There. Fewer than 20 to go and we can max out, or so I assume, our weapon storage. Let's see if there's anything on top of this. Mm, nope. But there is a pinwheel over there. So let's see what this pinwheel asks of us. Are they close enough? Some of them are. Well, there's actually a bunch of things to hit for this one. Oops. Okay, so right about there. Except with less delay. Okay. There. Okay, down to the beach we go. Nope. 
I spy a Korok, probably. Okay. And now, let's show off those photos we took. Yeah. Uh-huh. So the walking ones are the most dangerous. Interesting. Oh uh, yeah, can't do that. Poor Roscoe. Just for curiosity's sake. Okay. So they don't actually, there, there's no actual, like, cup. There's actually collision above and around it. That's interesting. Sorry, I tried to cook you, Roscoe. wonder what that lady's going to think about the shrine that's popping up here. Okay, she just isn't even paying attention to the shrine. That's okay, I suppose. What if there ends up being a test of strength here? Like, little did she know it, but Roscoe was actually the key to a small guardian. Oh, well, what do you know? That is exactly what has happened. Okay. So let's get a good weapon that isn't our best one here. We don't need it. This is just moderate. Let's use this. It's actually among our worst weapons, but it'll do. Ooh, a shield. I like that. You don't gotta be a jerk about it, buddy. Okay, try the stab again. Okay, this time do it again. Okay. You're gonna run right into this pillar, I hope you know. Good job, stupid. Oh, you wanna you wanna try this, huh? Yeah, bad choice. You think I don't know what's coming? Take your shield. Poor lady didn't know just how valuable Roscoe was. Actually had space for that? Guess so.
When did I break a weapon? Or did I throw one too many when getting the stuff from the last place? Don't know. Goes to show how much attention I pay. She isn't even paying attention. So we didn't go over this way. Bit of a long trek, but we can make it. Just wish I could make it faster. But alas, stamina is finite. Ooh. Why, that looks just fancy enough to spend a bomb arrow on. That was not much ore for three spots. That's a live guardian. Lady doesn't know how close she was to one. Now it activates. Hey, buddy. screw. Stupid wind. Okay, so anything in here? Yes. That's it for this pool. There's a Lizolfos, but we don't have to care if it doesn't want to bother us. A few more this way in this kind of place. Oh, well, okay. Noticed me when I started running. So. I think I'll ignore the ceiling ore here. These Lizolfos are not very good at camouflage. sword. Who knows if it's any good. But I shall find out. Don't spit at me. Certainly looks fancy. What is this? A knight's claymore. So it's not great 
And I've already got a photo of it. Okay. But the sapphire is worth the trip. So... We've been over there. Okay. Well, then. Let's... What's this? Ah. Right. I've been... Ooh. That's a car rock right there. Uh, I've been up here, but I don't think I've ever explored down here. But uh, let's save that. I... I want to try the desert again. Because, hey... Mulduga and something that it's guarding, like, could be interesting. Okay, so it is nighttime ish gonna be nighttime soon so let's do this and this and then some sand shoes and off we go so we want to go basically straight south and we'll keep an eye out for the kind of place where a molduga might be flavor of Lizalfos are you? Because I need red tails. You're going to be black, aren't you? Oh, no. Yellow. That's better. I need yellow tails as well. Oops. That was not the right type of arrow. Well, I mean, it worked well. It's just not what I wanted to use. There. Okay, back to the grind. It's not really a grind, it's just moving. Whoops. Wasn't paying attention to my stamina. Was too busy looking at that bird that flew away. Oh, hey. Didn't know you wanted to have an ice arrow to the face so bad. including a silver Lizalfos or two, maybe. But we don't got to care about none of that. Huh, sand seals. There is a Molduga. And it knows we are here. As does this Lizalfos. No. Okay, let's get a bomb going. And let's get a good two-hander here. Come on, hold the button, please. There we go. That's fine, we're fine. Um, excuse you? Um, no, I, I need this bomb. Okay, fine, this bomb will do. Hey, 
And there we go. We'll do it down. You get out of here. That Mulduga had a lot of guts. And a bow I don't care about. Ah, that was a red one. Okay, so we've got some unlit braziers here and some lit ones up there. I'd imagine this is some sort of hint. So, let's do this. Good, it works. We've got plenty of fire arrows, so we don't really have to worry about running out here. Sure, let's use the duplex bow. One more. One more. Oh. A shrine. I do enjoy those. And this one will make it so that we actually can get two more hearts and thus only need to cook up one durian to max out our bar. Not that I've been doing much bar maxing recently. Was wondering why the sky was glowing over there. It's because the moon was behind a wispy cloud that somehow obscured it completely. So what do we got in here? A blessing. Makes things easy. Alright, had space for it. It's okay. So now we just got to get our hands on a statue to which we can give our eight orbs. Also, hot dang, we'll only be able to get one more heart after that. That's kind of crazy. But that's how it is. So, Kakariko is a pretty easy way to get to a statue, but then again, so are the uh, springs. Spring of power works. Doesn't require any special clothing to not succumb to temperatures. Plus, it's right next to a place where I didn't explore very well because I was afraid of the Skywatcher Guardians. Yeah, the quarry here. It was raining and there were sky watchers, so I didn't really investigate it at all. And hey, look, it's raining. Well, that's okay. We're better at dealing with rain now than we used to be. Give me some hearts, please.
And one more, please. So yeah, we can only ever get one more thing. And it's a heart, because we can't get any more stamina. And that, I do believe, is going to be it for this episode. Join us next time when we explore this quarry and probably some other places as well. And yeah, see you then, friends.